Today things are gonna get weird, and it all starts with a sleep deprived pink cloud. Guess what? I don't have to guess cause you're gonna tell me anyways. Okay? Free money. I like where this is going already. Normally I have to work very hard to earn money in games. Okay, he's very about the free money and I'm excited for it. Hopefully I can actually spend it on something. So far we just have storm clouds. You probably have a lot of junk in your town. Yes, I believe that's where you came from. It takes up a lot of space. Not if we remove it. Okay, we have our flying robot to take all this stuff away. So we don't have to do anything. The robot's going to come in and take the junk away. I don't know what it defines as junk, but then we'll get money for it. What could possibly go wrong with this plan? That robot looks strangely new to anything going on. Girl don't trust me? I definitely do not. Well trust this guy. There is a man inside his hat that's exactly the same. It's another sleep deprived pink cloud. So next time you see one of your giant robots flying near your town, let them work peacefully. I really don't care what happens to my town, just give me the money. You can take the whole town if you want, take the people. That's a great compliment, but that's nothing new to us. If I was perfect, I probably wouldn't have eaten four hot dogs for dinner last night. Main objective, wake up. That one I think we can handle. I feel like we entered Pac-Man world at this point. You're finally awake. Yeah, it's very cool. Can you move? I don't know yet. Yeah, we can uh, roll around. <laughs> There's our legs. I don't love the control scheme of this, but I think that's the point. Okay, we can stretch our legs. We can go into uh, grape mode. I know Z does something. Okay, we can do some squats. And we probably should because our legs are a little bit thin. Nothing to see here. Just a ball on an adventure. Anyways, I've had too much coffee to hold still. Let's go find what else is going on. I don't want to deal with ghosts. Too much dialogue. Not enough action. Uh, so we can explore the bedroom. Always a good place to start. We're going to go ahead and kick some things around here to see. Okay, we can kick a ball around. C. Okay, C just opens and closes things. Got it. I couldn't really do anything with that stuff. If I go into grade mode, I can push it around a bit. Nice. I'm sorry I woke you up. You've been sleeping for a long time. I think it's time for some fresh air. Uh, so you're leaving? I hope you are. I can't go outside. I'm a ghost. It would kill me. Yeah, that's perfect logic. Find a way out. Well, I'm assuming it's not the way I came from because that's just a bedroom. There are some rocks in here. Uh, can we go ahead and just, yeah, we'll go ahead and kick those out of the way and dump into the purple goo. Well, I was hoping that would uh, be acid or something. And then we're gonna probably need some of these rocks to do something. I feel like we got a puzzle coming up. Okay, these just kind of, uh, swing. Oh, look, our ghost is back. Ah, this big rock seems a bit fragile. Maybe you could try... Wow, good puzzle. Wonder how we're gonna solve this one. So the polka dot rocks are breakable. Got it. And I'm pretty sure this just turns into a platformer where we just kind of awkwardly jump our way up. And mushrooms. I keep forgetting which one is kick. Ah, just like in the real world, mushrooms are... Uh, perfect substitute for a trampoline. We're gonna jump over this pink goo now because I don't trust it suddenly. Oops, well, I guess it's safe. I'm not taking very good care of this character because I just don't care about him. I think if I move these rocks over somehow, I will be able to go up there. Just gotta figure out how to do that. Physics. Don't know it. So we'll take this and there we go. We're up to here. Now we got another rock. I don't know what the ghost down below wanted, but I'm above him now. Are you proud of me? I think you're good to go. I'm not asking your permission. Uh, I'm gonna push out to the sunlight if you don't get out of my way. We're apparently in a cave that's guarded by rocks. Warning, do not open this door, the beast sleeps ahead. Wait, am I the beast then? Because you, you, they put rocks in front of the door to stop me from getting out, or the ghost. We might have let the ghost out. Flowers? What do you mean? What? What is that? A uh, candle? Hello? What am I supposed to do with that? Bring a candle to it. Alright, whatever then. Going down the hill. Can we roll? Where's my peanut mode? There we go. We're gonna roll down the hill. Can't touch that flower though. This one doesn't break. Ooh, we can roll rocks down the hill. Hopefully there's something breakable below. Okay, if we go into this mode, it tends to... Okay, never mind. Oh, wait, we can kick the rocks around. Oh, this changes everything. Ooh, birds. Let's see if we can kick them. I want your feathers. Not allowed to kick the birds. Don't know what to make of that happy looking fellow. Hey, bye. How are you? I don't... I really don't want to talk to the bird. What about the scarecrow? He looks more scared than I am. Uh, tightrope? Why did it zoom in on this? Oh. Well, I guess I could have seen that coming. Very scary. Probably also means we can't go back that way, but all there was was talky birds and like a candle. And then we have ice cream cones made out of meat. I swear I just heard a noise. Probably just the birds. I don't know. It sounded pretty snappy. Yeah, I broke your bridge. The sound of beasts coming to eat you. Yeah, that's right. It could be lurking in the field, ready to jump as we turn around. Believe me, if I could, I would. You're already annoying me. Hi, what's up? I'm the beast. Get in my mouth. The beast. Yes, it's the beast. How do they know what it looks like? Oh, okay. Are we fighting him now? Okay, the beast is so scary that they immediately put me in a cage. I mean, it's not the worst thing that's ever happened to me. It doesn't look ferocious at all. I thought it would be bigger. It broke our bridge. Yeah, I did. I'm gonna break a lot more than that. Let me out. I'm going to eat you all. But you don't seem to have a mouth. That won't stop me. I'll find a way to put you inside me one way or another. 
I mean, no offense, but aren't you supposed to be gigantic and mighty? I don't know, it's your story. I don't write stories about myself. I think we should free it. Yeah, I don't think it's a threat. It looks like a beast to me. Yeah, let me out. Put me out. I'll go break everything you have. They've asked me to repair their bridge because I broke it. I said no. Sorry, but I'll have to keep you in this cage. Yeah, that's okay. Maybe if I get it rocking, I can knock you idiots over. So you still don't want to help us with the bridge? No way. There's no way to get out of this cage, you know. Yeah, maybe. Maybe not. Well, you're going to explore those options for a while. No cage ever holds me. Right, well, it looks like I'm going to help them with the bridge. I didn't put in a very earnest effort, but whatever. Let us know when you fixed our bridge. Yeah, I said I was going to help you, not that I was going to do it for you. Find a way to repair the bridge. Murder everyone. Put them in my mouth. Go, go. Stop, it hurts. Yes, that's the point. That's what bullying is, hurting people. Why? Why not? I'm going to make a bridge out of these things. Oh, he's getting mad and fighting back. Oh, he's got stronger legs than I do. That's okay. If we do this enough, our legs will get stronger. All right, well, now we've created a psychopath. Who's the real monster here? Okay, it's time to figure out how to repair this bridge. I don't even know where the bridge is. So there's something, I think, in this tree. A spider. Yeah, you'll help fix the bridge, right? Because you got strength. Go fix it. Don't ever do that again. Make me. Good news, guys. I assaulted a spider and some of that fixed the bridge. The beast repaired the bridge. We thought you were a pretty ruthless monster, but you seem okay. Yeah, I'm not a real fan of you guys either. Feel free to stay as long as you want in our village. I think I will. I think our painter is struggling with that. Sounds like a painter's problem to me. Yeah, okay, cool. I'll just be the free labor. Why not? Nothing else to do with my time. Ooh, 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 what do we, yeah, this'll be good. I'm gonna poison your water. Uh, okay, there's a, I need apples for that thing that we can go in his mouth. Once I bathe in their one and only water supply. All right, take me up. Are you the painter? Can I have an apple and can I go in your mouth? This robot shouldn't take long to arrive. I forgot about that already. I'm losing the plot. It's such a complicated story. The Shop of Horrors. There's a cage I lived in for a while. $15 to buy one of these. Do I have that kind of money? You want to buy this plush? No, I clicked on it for fun. Yes. May I? Alright, the guy says we apparently need to exchange money for stuff, so we'll go find some money. I would assume this is the painter's house, and I can assume he doesn't do a very good job at things. I didn't really want to actually start this, but the controls are a little janky, so here we are. I've lost my inspiration. It's a disaster. I'm a disaster. You're not kidding. You're wearing a beret. They asked me to draw a face for the scarecrow, but the birds liked it. This doesn't sound like a problem for me. They are supposed to be scared. It's a scarecrow. It should scare the crows. I don't have this. Remember that scary monster that scares all of you? Maybe there's some inspiration there. Just saying. And he lost his pencil in the basement. In his own basement. He wants me to go through his basement and find it. Sir, I'm a little frustrated right now, so I need to take that out on someone. So if you could just fall down there. Goodbye. As much as I would love to find someone's pencil for them, I've got clouds to ride. Ooh, ooh, can we light this on fire? Oh, they're eggs, aren't they? This, I think, is probably also bouncy. No, I don't know what this is. Hello? Okay, well, I found some big eggs, so that's interesting. So we're just going to go ahead and crack these open. <laughs> uh, the miracle of nature. Yep, nothing could possibly go wrong with letting blackbirds out into the world. What have you done to my children? I technically assaulted them. Where did they go? Uh, it wasn't me. What do you mean it wasn't you? Your feet are still on the shelves. Yeah, but I was walking by. You broke my eggs. Now my children are lost and probably very hungry. It makes you feel any better. They probably died. I doubt they know how to fly very well. Find them. Fix your mistakes. Oh, this game really makes you fix your mistakes a lot. Go find my children. How about... No. You're the idiot who made a nest on a cloud. That's not very structural. Oh, but they didn't go very far because they're just not very smart. What's up? Your mother is looking for you? Yeah, go back to your, uh, go back to Big Bird. I'm sure I'll randomly find the other one anyway. As for you, you big dumb idiot. If this feels like a trap. If an artist ever tells you to go into his basement to find a pencil, it's a trap. I'm using the term artist uh, a little bit generously here. There's also a big red button in his basement, so I can only imagine that leads to good things. Sir, I found where you lost your pencil. It's up on that pedestal where you presumably put it, but we'll go ahead and touch your big red button then. Oh, I see. I think I could probably solve this one pretty easily. Just gotta adjust the box. There we go. My box stacking skills are exemplary. My jumping skills are a little bit less so. Okay, uh, here's your pencil hat. Was it was it a hat he wanted or a pencil? I feel like an artist sh probably should know the difference, but also I gotta knock over these boxes. You can't put a pile of stuff in front of me and expect me not to mess with it a little bit. There. Fixed your basement, sir. I don't entirely know what species of thing you are, but it's incredibly lazy. Do you know how to wear it? Wear the pencil? Yeah, uh, yes, I know. Of course I do. Draw a face for this scarecrow. You do better than me, obviously. So, I've been informed by the idiot that if I hold H, I can look through my inventory, and then I am now a pencil. Which means I get to draw! I get to put whatever I want for this scarecrow. 
Well, knowing these guys, I really should just draw some hard work because that's what they fear most. Uh, this also has Etch-a-Sketch style controls, so we'll see how good we do with this. Luckily, I am naturally an artist at heart, so this comes absolutely naturally to me. Do you think they're, do you think they're gonna like it once it's done? It's very hard to do this Etch-a-Sketch <laughs> controls. Okay, there we go. We got the circle. Uh, that's a pretty perfect circle. And there we go. One. Perfect. What have you done? It's a masterpiece. I don't know. I didn't know you had such talent. You should put it on Scarecrow's head. Okay, you're the boss. Okay. I love the physics in this game. Oh, I found the other idiot bird that I, uh, whatever. Here, go back to your thing, stupid. Hi, I brought your idiots back. They might be a little premature, but that sounds like a you problem. Do you promise to break eggs that won't belong to you again? I can't help it. I really can't. I guess I don't really have a choice. Oh, an apple. That's what I need for the, uh, shrine thing in the basement, in the well. And is there fall damage? There is not. All right. Well, whoops. Okay. <laughs> Straight down the well we go then. One apple. Good. And things are a little bit more wrecked than they used to be. Let's just phrase it like that. Okay. I found him. There we go. See? And much better. Everything's terrified. You followed me all the way out here. Why didn't you just put the face on then, you idiot? I think we've angered something. Oh, it's a giant robot. They're supposed to be eating the garbage of town. Watch out. I'm not garbage. Are you okay? Uh, what is that? I'm fine. What is that? We have corn in our village. We made a deal with Sunshine Inc. Every week one of the robots comes here to collect it. Exchange robots spread money everywhere in our village. Free money. Okay. Explore more of the world. Uh, I'm gonna get hoovered into this thing's mouth. Let me in. Mr. Sunshine is here. This is very cult-like. It's been some time since my weekly money just- Yeah, put it all to me. I don't- uh, I guess I could buy something once I get the money, though. One of us gets a free tour of his volcano, though. So, hopefully that's me. Once he left in my robocop- yeah, me. The lucky one who will get to see Sunshine Headquarters is Eli. Which is apparently that one. I'm going to the volcano. Good. Ritual sacrifice. Gotta love it. And we got money for Eli. Bye, suckers. Yeah, good luck in your volcano, idiot. Okay, we're gonna fly through the money now. I can only imagine what other kind of things are in this game that I don't see right away. So there's the cage where I used to live. Sunshine Inc. Yep, this is all well and good. You can use the ropeway now, have fun. Yeah, let me get right on that. Let me go see what's down here. There's always fun stuff underground. Oh, there's secrets in walls too. Great. Okay, this rock is breakable. We learned these ones are brittle and sometimes there's things hidden in them naturally. Like a tea set that we broke. What? Great, that's just great. First you destroy my door, then you enter my house uninvited. Yeah, then I broke your tea set. Yeah, you're very sad, you're a rock. Yeah, but the rock wants to play hide and seek. Okay, that makes perfect sense. And we have a water fountain to bring us out. I need those coins though. The tramway leads me to this place where there's a lily pad and an acorn. Because of course there is. But there's also coins and we need the coins to buy whatever that thing was. Uh, we're also playing hide and seek with a rock. So I need to figure out which one is him. Press seawall in the air to catch a hook. Okay. Uh-huh. So we can swing. But there's rocks over there. Was one of those him? See the big one? Big rock here, probably nothing breakable down there. Also, not my problem. And we're gonna swing over here, and we got a way over the gap. And it brings it to the secret in the wall. Are you my rock friend? I gotta move you. Which lets me jump up through here, through the coin, and kick the door open. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to go this way, but since I can, I will. So you go down there where it's easy to find again, and got it. I do have the 15 coins I need to grab the, um, thing. Turns out blue flowers turn into platforms so we can use these to gain new heights. Not really sure how to get that yet but presumably they'll be away somewhere. These clouds probably move. They sure do. Uh, we're getting uh, rich very quickly. Still not sure what we're gonna do with all this money if anything. Seems to be a bit of a dead end in this direction. There are the rocks in the sand pit down here. I'm not sure this is any- oh okay we kicked through it. Yeah I get it now. So we're basically just slowly going around gathering coins for reasons unknown. I just decided to swing myself out into nowhere land. There was a coin back there, but I gotta go back towards the store because I gotta buy that thing. Think I found another apple. Yeah, we can just straight up take it out of the tree. That's handy. Now I think we can afford one of the monster hats and then we can scare people. Okay, we did buy it. Now he's gonna explain to me nothing. Uh, apparently I've ruined his business though. You can be, I was selling merchandise of the beast mugs. Oh, so I ruined the beast illusion because I'm not that scary. This is the, I think last house to visit. So good day to you, sir. This man seems to be a gardener. Must be missing something. Love? Water? Lo you're missing love. There's no love in your life. I found the rock. He was sitting on the billboard. Oh, and he disappeared again. I'm not gonna go find him again. He can find himself now. There is a present here I didn't notice before because it kind of blends in. And it's a trophy. Well, while I'm down here, we might as well make things a little more erect. Two out of three. Hey, stupid. Pretty sure it's you. 
And he disappeared again, so now we just need to find a rock sitting in a stupid place. Also never came in here. This is the windmill, and it's just a guy riding a bike to spin it, which the wind is supposed to power the windmill. I do think I've spotted a rock here, which is a very suspicious spot for a rock. That was fun. Thanks for playing with me. Please accept this. Here we got the apple. So if all you idiots will excuse me, I've got a well to dive into. Probably going to go ahead and summon the rail monster down here. One apple for one triple erect statue. Can only imagine what this leads to. There's a frog that we're not allowed to kick. It's getting too difficult for you. I can get you out of here, but be careful if you ever come back, you have to start from the beginning. Do you want me to teleport you? Whoops. Uh, okay. So it would appear in here that there's just a bunch of coins we can collect at different intervals, and there's sort of some traps that will knock us into spikes if we let them. There's a coin over there that we won't grab yet, but we'll just keep going for now to see if there's actually anything fun in here. There was a little secret in the wall up there, so we're going to see if we can make our way up there. Swing back and into here. What's in here? It's this guy, apparently, our cult leader. So this, we got to go down here. We got to bounce up there in between the spikes, so we got to go under or over this. So we got to be careful how we touch this, or not touch it at all, rather. Not like what I just did, but don't worry, we'll get there eventually. Maybe we can just jump over here. Nope, that's not going to work either. Oh, we can go under it. Of course we can. If we just wiggle it there, perfect. Yeah, I probably should have tried that sooner, but, you know, stupid and all. Definitely I'm kind of worried about dying now because we're a little ways from a checkpoint, but it's also not that bad. I think we could probably just, yep, hard puzzle. Now we're getting somewhere. Is this the volcano where we sacrifice things? It's the monster. Great. Beast mask. We're definitely going to put that on right away. Perfect. I know this isn't an evolution game, but we've evolved into the perfect creature. Now we're going to go scare everyone in the village, hopefully murdering them all. They're going to be so afraid when some monster emerges from their well. Is he already running? Is he scared? No, he's not even scared yet. Oh, I thought they'd actually be scared of us. Well, that's disappointing, but at least we turned ourselves into a monster, I guess.